If you guys aren't aware by now, you guys know I'm a huge Jersey fiend. When it comes to jerseys, I could talk about that all day. I have my own YouTube channel dedicated to just jerseys. Uh, and I got to tell you guys about Fans Idea right now. Fans Idea is your own site where you can customize a jersey if you're choosing to the color, to the size, to the scripture, to the number on the back, everything. They got baseball, they got football, they got hockey, they got basketball, they even got hats and hoodies if you want to create something for your team. Got a men's softball league you want to do? Make yourself some jerseys for the team. Got a bowling league? Make yourself some t-shirts for it. Do what you want to do. Got a men's basketball league at the YMCA? Go get your team a bunch of jerseys and some shorts too. You literally can do it all. And look at this right now. I'm wearing my slick back base. Because the people at Fans Idea send me this. It's really nice with the Mets colors here. The better New York baseball team, by the way. But the scripture is nice. I put 20 and 19 on the back because that's when the podcast started. I have everything. They even have the podcast logo here on the sleeve. You could do whatever you want to the jersey. It's just really, really nice. And the stuff there is really, really good and a really good price. Like they said, they had anything you could choose, any color, any style, any font, any number. You could put any type of logo on it, whatever you want to do. And it's a really good price. And you can get an even better price if you use the code FONTS, F-O-N-C, for 10% off your order. Head over to fansidea.com right now. Make yourself a nice jersey. You know what? Do a soccer jersey. Do a polo. Do a hat. Do a varsity jacket because those are really nice. And put the code F-O-N-Z at the end at checkout for 10% off your order. You guys know I'm a big jersey guy. I talk about jerseys all the time. And I would lie to you when it comes to jerseys. This stuff here, really good quality, good stitching. It's some legit stuff. Again, Again, fansidea.com. Use code FONTS, F-O-N-Z, for 10% off your order right now. Broncos country, let's ride. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to FONTS Talk Jersey. It is I, FONTS the Falcon, your Jersey connoisseur here in the wonderful world of YouTube. Another day, another new uniform review. If you missed it, there's been a couple of teams that got some new uniforms for the NFL season in 2024. The New York Jets recently released theirs last week, and the Lions did last week as well. The videos are down below if you want to check them out. And the Texans will be unveiling theirs later in the week, and that video will be coming up on the channel as well. But today... The Denver Broncos released their brand new uniforms, and we're going to take a look at them. Quickly with the Denver Broncos uniforms, fans have been asking for uniforms for quite some time. Before this season, they had the same uniform since 1997. With their navy set was the home uniform, and the white was their away one. Then a couple years in, in 2002, they had an orange one as their alternate. In 2012, they swapped the navy and orange to be the home and alternate, respectively. And all orange color rush did debut with the team in 2016 as part of that NFL color rush program. And last season, they debuted a alternate white snow cap helmet with that color rush set. And the Broncos uniforms, eh, they kind of just outgrew themselves. After a while, it was kind of time for a change again since 1997 it was time for an upgrade and they unveiled some brand new uniforms that we're gonna see is this a downgrade or is this a good thing you guys know how it is i give my thoughts and grades on each different uniform set let me know down below if you agree if you disagree let's just get right into it so firstly we'll go into the general kind of style of what the uniforms are gonna be all about it's called the mile high collection the number style and letters are inspired by the signage of the colorado's national parks this collection of uniforms basically show what the city is all about the mile high city you know how it is and they inspired a lot in these uniforms a lot of little tweaks and nods to these uniforms that kind of show that they play above sea level so they debuted a primary sunset orange home set a summit white road set and a midnight navy alternate and those three jerseys have respective pants blue orange and white and they can be paired all all within each other so that's nine different combinations just on tops and bottoms alone but the helmets actually have remained the same the same navy blue look but it's more of like a satin matte type of feel unlike the gloss look we've seen for the past couple of years and they also have a white alternate helmet they kept the white alternate last year and they brought it back this year but this time it's going to have the regular standard broncos logo on it and if you look closely at the numbers itself it actually has triangle clusters you see it also on the stripe too on the back of the helmet it's in little details all over it represents denver's elevation and you see the 528 kind of numbering on the helmet and the actual pants and jersey itself represents how many feet it is above the sea level and on top of that, the broncos also unveiled a throwback class uniform which we will get to in a little bit first let's get into the primary home uniform broncos country let's ride get out of here russell wilson you're not on this team anymore so here we see the sunset orange here it's basically the same orange uniform they've used in the past but now it's a sunset orange the block numbers i do actually kind of like a lot and on the side the, the zigzag is here actually represents the mountains and the elevation of denver colorado but i got to be honest here the helmet itself it's actually not that bad. I actually kind of like the helmet. I don't like that useless kind of small stripe you see on the back here. I feel like it's eventually going to be outdated. But the uniform itself, like it has some cool little knots here, but I feel like it is missing a little something. I'm just, I feel like with the amount of hype we were getting with the Broncos getting uniforms for the first time since 1997, I want a little bit more here. I wish it could be a little better. It seems a little bit plain to me. This gets a C grade. I just am not feeling this one just yet. But if I had to pick a pant combination to go with it, I think the orange and the regular white pants is a very simple look here. I feel like the all orange look might be a little bit too much, and the orange and blue bottoms, 
I feel like it's not going to be a good look. Broncos country, let's ride. Now we get to the Summit White Road uniform. It's basically the same as the regular orange one, but the main base here is white with the navy numbers and the orange outline here. And the mounds on the side here are the same here. I actually kind of like the white actually a lot better than the sunset orange. And I think pairing it with the blue pants is the best option in my opinion. It actually kind of looks cool. I wish the Broncos did utilize the navy pants more last season, but it looks like they're going to be using them more this upcoming season. This does get a C plus grade. It is a little bit of an upgrade, but again, it's still the same as the sunset orange, but it just is the white base here. Again, I won a little bit more out of it. But also at the same time, I feel like maybe it will look better probably on the field. But again, we're just seeing pictures and video hypes around it. It's okay now, but maybe I have hope that it'll look better on the field. Broncos country, let's ride. But off the bat, this Midnight Navy alternate uniform, it is really, really nice. And it's a really, really sharp one here. It's basically the same as the home and roll one, but the base here is the Navy with the white numbers and the orange outline. And the mound zigzag pattern on the side actually looks a lot better on this Navy alternate uniform. But the main thing here to talk about is the white alternate helmet that goes with it here. I think the white helmet, I didn't really like it last year. That's because I think it kind of went with the all orange uniform. I think it just didn't look right on the field. But pairing this white helmet with the navy blue jersey here, it looks a lot better. I think that white helmet, blue jersey, and the white pants combination, it's my favorite of the bunch with these nine different combinations. It's a really, really sharp one here. The navy jersey gets an A minus grade in my book. I do like the navy jersey a lot better than the other two. I wish they could use the navy one a lot more in my opinion. If this was the primary home uniform, this would be a lot better. Broncos country, let's ride. And I don't know why. I didn't like the white helmet last year, but it just looks a lot better this year. Maybe because also the regular Bronco logo is it on here as well, too. It's overall an alternate. It's a really, really good one. And as much as I love the Navy alternate uniform, but this... 1977 orange crush throwback for the broncos i'm so happy that they brought these back and i'm not even a broncos fan but i've been wanting to see these since they announced a second helmet was allowed i was like they have to bring this back we teased it a little bit when they had that decal on the old color rush uniform and last year's snow cap white helmets but we finally got the baby blue helmet here the throwback style with this old logo here it's really really nice this was in the 70s 80s and early 90s era of the denver broncos the orange crush uniforms the early john elway days fans have been wearing this uniform to come back for quite some time and with the one helmet limit rule we never were able to see it when the two helmet rule came out people were like oh we might be able to see it but now with a third helmet we now got it and let me tell you this is a really really nice one it's definitely in the running for one of my favorite of the throwback uniform sets we're going to be seeing this upcoming season this gets an a grade I think this is absolutely incredible. I love the orange look here. The blue helmet pops with it. And the white pants, it's overall a really, really cool look. It's going to look really, really nice on the field. Over with the Denver Broncos for me, this just feels like a little bit of a roller coaster of emotions here because the home and road ones, I was like, eh, I'm not really feeling it. Then I saw the Navy alternate. I'm like, okay, we're getting somewhere. And then I saw the throwback. I'm like, this is it. This is perfect. The alternate and throwback ones are the best of the bunch. The home and road, I just wanted a little bit more. Again, since this is their first kind of redesign since 1997, you want wanted some more here but i feel like this is might be a tad bit of a downgrade the navy alternate throwback definitely helps this case a lot but overall the combination of all the uniforms it does get a b minus grade overall because the navy alternate throwback helps it a lot here but the home and road ones I'm just not feeling it. If I did have to pick my top three, I think my number one would definitely be the orange crush throwback is my number one. The white helmets, navy blue and white combination is number two for me. And I think my third favorite, I think I'm going to stick with the navy blue jersey and the navy blue plants with that white helmet. That's going to look really good. I don't know. I feel like maybe it might be down great, but the two other ones I lastly mentioned are the better ones. What do you guys think of this? Am I overreacting? Should we wait to see how they look on the field? Which one is your favorite of the bunch? Which one you like the most? Which one do you hate the most? Let me know down below. A reminder, if you haven't already checked Check out the Jets and Lions uniform reviews on this channel here. And the Texans ones will be coming up here also as well. If you have any identity considered fonts, talk to a like and a subscribe. Tell a friend. Tell a couple of friends. You can follow my main YouTube page at Fonts of Falco where I have my podcast on there. Slick back kickback report. Some other shorts on there and some other random videos. So I just hit a 500 subscribers, by the way, on there too. It's a nice little getaway from this channel. If you like some regular stuff, if you like the personality of me and like my regular nonsense videos, non-Jersey related, why don't you give it a subscribe? You can follow my TikTok, Instagram, X, at Fonts the Falco. The link is down below. And get yourself a custom made jersey. Maybe make a jersey that's better than the Broncos home and away ones. Why not? Use code Fonts for 10% off. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Got a lot of other stuff coming on this channel channel in the near future i'm definitely excited to share it with you guys have a good day good night good evening when any of you are watching said video and i'll catch y'all next time peace out